Hey, it's Rick from Tipping Goat. This is Super Slam Dunk Touchdown. I'm actually taking a look at a weird Unity issue uh, I'm running into. So this is uh, Unity 5.4.0f3. It's just upgraded uh, for the Xbox. Um, fully prepared to admit I might be doing something weird here, but uh, I, I really don't understand why this is happening. But if you run into this, I do have a, a solution or at least an explanation, partial explanation for what's going on. So I upgraded, everything looks good. Uh, here's the menu. Now this is just Unity UI. Um, I do have my own sprite font and some of my own code going on there too. Uh, so at first I was thinking maybe it was something code related but uh, now I'm not so sure so let's just jump over here to quick match now if you've seen the game before uh, this will immediately look a little weird because uh, the buttons are, are not quite there right <laughs> it's supposed to be the same kind of buttons that were on the title screen are supposed to be here uh, so where the heck are they well if we take a look at the scene they're there, they're just uh, gigantic and uh, off the screen. So that's the background for this ice button here, that's the floor type selection, and then these are the backgrounds for those buttons. Uh, so they're just big, they're all on the same plane, which is kind of weird because uh, if we go over here to that particular button, the floor button for instance, you can see the collision zone is there, the text is in the right place, the right scale, and when we move it, woof, it's like exaggerated movement and uh, just really large in size, which is not correct. <laughs> now, I, I do have, like I said, I have my own stuff going on here. I've got uh, a collider, you know, you can move your little player icons. I don't know if you see that moving around. You move these player icons, see how it highlights when I go there. So I could change the floor type that way, or I could use the mouse. So it, it's just I've added a little bit of extra stuff to be able to do that. Um, so could that be causing it? I don't know. So let's head over to the title screen where everything works fine. And uh, now the way I've got this arranged, I've got everything under a parent called 2D. I blow it up uh, the scale to 4 to make it nice and uh, pixely. And then I've got a canvas underneath that, and that's just a scale of 1, and then underneath that I've got my panel. Now the panel scaled to 0.01, and that's a uh, pixels per unit uh, thing there. Furthermore, underneath that I've got like the play button, and that's just a scale of 1. So you can see that that play button has some code on it, it creates this sprite text uh, with those sprites in it. So. Actually, it won't let me move it while it's paused because it keeps them lined up, but those are basically together. Um, so, let me just copy this uh, canvas that's working and we'll head back over to the team selection screen. And if I just paste it right here, pfft, there, it's fine. It's kind of got overlap on it, but you can see the buttons are all there. The it's trying to select that button with the icon, so the highlighting is a little weird, but you know, I'm looking at the scale and the scale looks fine, right? So what the heck's going on? Let me move this underneath 2D. <laughs> Just <laughs> totally goofed up. Now, of course it scaled it because the parent changed, but if we scale it back to one, we have the same issue with the backgrounds, right? It's the same giant buttons, just in a slightly different place. Uh, weird, right? So, let's try the opposite. Let's drag this other canvas. Let me put that back out there. Maybe not. There we go. And uh, we'll move this canvas down as a sibling. And its scale has jumped up to, because uh, it had the parent before, but if you notice, it's still screwed up. Buttons are still way off the screen. So what the heck's going on? Well, if you take a look at these two side by side, if you're really astute, you'll notice the Z scale of this canvas is zero. Now I'm not sure why it's zero. I might have uh, goofed that up. It somewhere became a copy paste issue because this is actually in a few different uh, scenes. But if I change that to a one, magically the buttons are right. So let me get rid of the test canvas here so we can see what it's actually supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. So why is the Z 
zero on that, and it's actually uh, on the parent. It's on 2D. So let's uh, reset this back how it was. There's our canvas. The canvas scale is is one underneath the parent, but the parent scale is zero. So if we make it one, it's back. So what the heck's going on there? Is it's like I said, it's not a Z issue. They're all on one plane. In fact, we we can move the whole 2D thing around, and it you know doesn't really do anything. Or sorry, if I scale it, it doesn't really do anything, right? So, <laughs> but if I make it zero, it goofs it up. So really, this can be any number. One, hundred, ninety-nine, a million, a zillion, negative five. It doesn't matter what you make that, except if it's zero. If you make it zero, giant weird buttons off the screen. Uh, so I don't understand why that's happening, but I'm glad the fix is pretty easy. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to redo my whole UI. Uh, but this is happening not only on that screen, but also on the controller configuration screen, uh, and possibly elsewhere. So. If you run into that, um, there's there's a possible solution. Check the, z the Z scale of the canvas. Check the Z scale of any parent objects. Uh, make sure it's not zero, not that it should be, but for a 2D image, it really shouldn't matter, right? But I guess it does now in 5.4. So kind of a weird issue. Uh, if you have any ideas or explanation or comments or feedback, be, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Uh, again, this is Super Slam Dunk Touchdown. Uh, it's available on, on Steam and Humble. It's a six-player local multiplayer sports game. If you're interested, you can check it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>